Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. As much as I would like to continue arguing about NXT 2.0, <laughs> this was just announced by Ring of Honor Wrestling. Throughout the pandemic, our top priority was to keep everyone healthy and safe. And despite not producing any live events over 18 months, we were able to keep everyone fully contracted. We now find ourselves at a time where we need to make changes to our business operations and are planning a pivot for Ring of Honor with a new mission and strategy. The year will culminate with a final battle in December, and we will be taking the first quarter of 2022 to work internally to reimagine Ring of Honor. ROH has the most dedicated fans in the industry. We appreciate their loyalty and patience as we reconceptualize Ring of Honor. We anticipate returning to live events in April for the Supercard of Honor with a new fan-focused product and provide a unique experience for wrestling fans. That's the statement. And there might be more to this, but I'm, I'm trying to find out. But for those that have asked, I would say that no, this is not good news at all. No, it's, uh, you know, I heard that they had changed their TV taping schedule. Uh, they were going with, uh, I guess, look, uh, Dave will probably have a lot more on this coming up after Dynamite when you guys do Wrestling Observer Radio that should be up for subscribers of WrestlingObserver.com uh, early, early Thursday morning on the East Coast. Uh, yeah, well, there's a lot to this, and I think ROH obviously needs to make some changes of where they are in the landscape of things. And it, again, you just think for me, you just think about the people who are employed by ROH right now. This just, even if they are going to be okay, sets you into a lot of drama internally with you got family and you got to take care of yourself and lots of things going on. So, you know, my best to them. And again, we'll, we'll have to see where this goes, but it's, I think the tip of this iceberg, as far as some of the stories that are going to be coming out are going to be coming. I, I just hold on. Go ahead. Ring of honor has released everybody. I just tried to tell you that this was bad. And it was like, well, obvious. No, it's bad. We'll get back to that in a moment, because that's all I know at this exact second. Man. Imperium beat MSK, which was a uh, that was a NXT 1.0 style match. They were great. Imperium is great. MSK is great. Unfortunately, the highlight was not great when Nash Carter tried to cut her off the post on the 12 guys. None of them caught him, and he crashed and burned. And then finally we had Chimasa, uh, Tommaso Ciampa and Braun Breaker, and uh, that was that. So, anyway, uh, let's see. I'm looking at some stuff right here. Yeah, see, it makes for tough radio sometimes when we're both fielding text and looking at things. This, these aren't just general Google searches here, folks. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, well... There was a rumor earlier today that uh, Sinclair had canceled Ring of Honor. So I have been told that they did not cancel Ring of Honor. Uh, Ring of Honor will remain on Sinclair, at least through the end of the year, because after that there's going to be the restructuring period. But uh, they are going to do a November taping. They are going to do the December pay-per-view. And after that, we'll have to see what happens. But uh, apparently it was just announced that everybody has been uh, released. So, yeah, this is uh, this is very not good. But um, we'll see if they're able to restructure. So. Uh, boy, yeah, no, the people are going to be upset with Sinclair. I already see somebody with the, the F Sinclair. Look, they we got to see... Again, more of what's coming out of this, and Sinclair has funded this thing and not made any money off of it, and there were a lot of people that sat and, again, you know, everybody talked about how how well of a job Sinclair did keeping people safe and trying to keep them safe and trying to take care of them and things like that. So let's, you know, again, this is talked about the tip of the iceberg. Obviously, it's uh, there's more of this. It's going to be coming out even faster now, so just have to see how it goes, but everybody just kind of calm yourselves right now on where to throw blame or who to hate or anything like that. Again, just, just got to see what happens. 
Holy smokes. Well, that's uh, that's, that's big yeah. news. Yeah, we're, we got to have a lot to talk about tomorrow. Yeah. We have a lot to talk about tonight with Dave, too. I mean, you know, there were the rumors that they were going to go closed for, for TV tapings. There were, again, there have been a lot of different things. Why the Briscoes were out and being able to do things without, you know... Again, that they would not usually be doing otherwise, and, and there have been lots of different things like that. So it's, again, it's going to be a lot more coming to this, but it's, uh, I, I again, it's hard to talk because of people's contract statuses and all that stuff, too. Again, if everybody is released, this is, it's not good for the business. It's not good for wrestling. It will be good for indie, for independents out there that are, Again, everybody is struggling, you know, in the bigger groups. Obviously, there's a, a, a big hierarchy when it comes to independent wrestling. It's like micro brews and, you know, <laughs> craft brews and things like that. There's levels to this stuff. And, you know, companies are, again, it, it, hopefully this works out for for the wrestlers as far as getting bookings. And it's going to be good for the, the companies. But it's a tough situation right now, obviously, as can things continue to break. Well... What a turn this show has taken. Yee. The ups and the now downs. Now I want to go back of, to talking about NXT. Of, yeah, you want to talk about 2.0 now? Jesus. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, let's look. If ROH continues to make it, this would be ROH, what, 4.0. You know, a lot of incarnations even in the, the lifetime of ROH. So, again, it's uh, it's fascinating. Um, it's a fascinating situation. It's a fascinating time in pro wrestling. How does this affect New Japan? New Japan is continuing to expand their American operations. They just announced another YouTube show, which will be more of a wrap-up show. But... Obviously, this opens a hole. A lot of wrestlers looking for work. A lot of wrestlers who, again, are very known in the American and Canadian marketplace that will be looking for jobs. Impact. You know, you look at Sinclair. You know, did they do what they could with ROH? I don't believe they did as far as marketing it and, and doing lots of different things. Yeah, they gave it good spots on Saturday night at 1130. But what does that mean sometimes? And I think they, they may have dropped the ball. You know, Impact's trying to do everything. The people that own Impact, I forget the name of the, the company, the media group. But, you know, they're trying to do anything to make Impact relevant. And they bought a TV station essentially to put them on there. Well, they look at this as an opportunity to go, OK, now we really got to get it together here. This is a time that we can strike. You know who knows. Well, I can uh, I can confirm that uh, everyone has been released. So uh, now multiple sources all saying the same thing. So yeah, I guess we're going to find out what this means. I'll try and get more after the break. Observer Live. Here's the uh, situation as of this exact moment. So Ring of Honor is going to do a set of tapings in November, and they're going to be doing Final Battle. Everybody who is currently under contract. Their contracts will not be renewed after final battle, but they are able to work wherever they want as of right now. So basically, if you're if you're a Ring of Honor contracted talent and they need you for the November tapings or final battle, you're going to work those shows. Otherwise, you're free to do whatever you want. That appears to be my my understanding of what's going on, and we shall see how this all pans out. But I mean, certainly does not look good right now. It reminds me, and I don't know if this will end up being the case, obviously, but remember that uh, final uh, WCW show? It was the season finale, and we've yeah. been uh, waiting for the next season to start for like the last uh, 20 years. Well, sure do. Yeah. it looks like the season finale of Ring of Honor is going to be final battle, and then hopefully the season gets renewed for a lot of people. It's a lot of people that were making money and now aren't going to be making money. This blows. It's it. Security. Family security. And that's what matters with a lot of this nonsense that we talk about inside the ring. These are people with families and lives, and they relocated to Baltimore or to that area. And it's just, you know, you've, you've got to keep those people in your thoughts, too. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.